Yeah. Psalm 3415. The eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yasha are upon the righteous. And who's his eyes? The angels. Okay. Go ahead. And his ears are upon are open unto their cry. The face of Yahweh Bashim Yasha is against them that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. These Edomites, man. That's a cut. Go ahead. The righteous cross and Yahweh Bashim Yasha hear it. And deliver them out of all their troubles. That's the prayers, man. Go ahead. Yahweh Bashim Yasha is nigh to them that are of a broken heart and say of such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh Bashim Yasha deliver them out of all the so, so the scripture says, Many of be the afflictions of the righteous. So we're going to go through shit, man. But it says that what? The, the, the Most High what? But Yahweh Bashim Yasha deliver him out of them all. He said them all. It didn't say 80%, 85%, 90 It said all. Okay? Read down to verse 22. He keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Not one of them is broken, man. Go ahead. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Hmm. Yahweh Bashim Yasha redeemeth the soul of his servants. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Yeah, and he had, how do he redeem us now? Through Yahweh Shah's blood, man. That's why you can't take this truth lightly, man. Because in order for us to have gotten this gift, Yahweh Shah's blood had to be shed, man. In order for us to get the comforter, Yahweh Shah's blood had to be shed. In order for the Most High to accept Israel again, Yahweh Shah's blood had to be shed, man. So if a brother fall out this thing, that's why the scripture says you put the Lord to open shame. I mean, in order for you to be forgiven, you got to come back down and do the same thing. Because that's never going to happen. Because you can't take this thing lightly. Okay, this thing came at a cost. That's why Apostle Paul kept saying he was a prisoner of Yahweh Shai. He understood the gravity of this thing. This thing is deeper than just saying, I'm an Israelite. And that's not, that's, this thing is deeper than that, man. Okay? What verse you at? Uh, that's it on that. That's 22. Oh, that's 22. Yeah. So, like we said, man, the Lord, the way the Lord uh, redeemed us, brought us back. That's just to say, we're going to get that. Galatians 4 and 4. Galatians 4 and verse 4. And it reads, But when the fullness of the time was come, the Most High sent forth his son, made of a woman, under, made under the Lord. So Mary was purified, all right? So that cuts the virgin birth. Go ahead. Son. To redeem them that were under the law. To redeem, who was under the law? The Israelites, man. See, how I came to redeem those Israelites who were under the law. Now what? That we might receive the adoption of sons. There you go. So if we become the sons of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai blood had to be spilled. None. So we, that's why you could never fall out this thing. Man. Ever. Okay? Because that's going to be a stain on you. Not that you're going to pay on this side. But even on the next side, when you come back in the kingdom and your lot, whatever, riches and fame, that's still going to be on your record, man. See what I'm saying? Who wants that? Judas Iscariot going to be living good in the kingdom. But that's forever going to be on his record, man. You see what I'm saying? What you do now matters for eternity, man. See, so we want to be a part of that, that um, 144. That's what it's all about for us, man. Come on. Our name's got to be cemented, man. All right? Those who sit for righteousness. All you other guys, um, like these fakes that we get on these celebrities, none of your glory on this side is going to be remembered. Right, the kingdom, we're not going to talk about, yo, you saw what Jordan used to do? That's going to be, that's, that's dying on right here, man. His glory going to die right here, man. That's not going to be remembered. That's not going to be talked about ever, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father don't care about that, man. No, we ain't going to talk about Michael Jackson's first. Yeah, thing. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson right now, he's in his right frame of mind, man. He in his spiritual realm, man. He got his afro back, got his beard, got his color back. See? And he's ashamed, man. For the things he did, man. See? So, like we said, man, what we do now matters, man. That's what the script said. When 
was at Ecclesiastes 427? Um, did you pass Yeah. Well, that's not a scripture, but that's a good scripture too. Man, you guys follow these false camps, man. Don't make yourself an underling to a foolish man. Because if the blind lead the blind, fall in a ditch. No, keep reading though. Oh, alright. Neither accept the person of the mighty. Strive for the truth unto death. That's the scripture. Strive for the truth. But that scripture before was good too. You can't be an underling to a foolish man. So them people that, them dudes is following the IG, JC, okay, that clown up there in Harlem, which they, um, charging him for embezzling money, all right, which he blasphemed the Holy Spirit, talking about he is a comforter, all right, the most I going to deal with him, because oh, he's yeah, already yeah. dealing with him. You just say you can't, you blast the Holy Spirit, no Yeah, yeah. talking about you, a, you, you the God sent comforter, man. This guy just waxed worse and worse. And even this new General Yohanna, man, he stopped going out. He don't teach the market beasts and shit, all right? You guys got, you got videos up there shooting guns like a bunch of idiots on Vice TV, man. Talking to the enemy. What was that necklace? What he said? Oh, oh, oh. Beast. How you call it? But, um, uh, uh, what I was saying? Yeah, Jenna Rihanna on Vice TV. This dude talking to Esau. You saw the video? He talking to Esau and his men at the gun range. I'm like, what's with this guy, man? Like, what's wrong with you, man? Like, let's say even if you're trying to form a militia, why would you talk to the devil and put it on Vice TV, man? Uh. Like, who does that, man? What general does that, man? Reprobate. Okay. That's a reprobate, man. And this thing is not about guns. Okay? And guess what the devil did? They got that footage. They put it up on YouTube. Black supremacist group. Journey on how to talk to this dude. And it's been at the gun range, man. You should have been bringing out scriptures cutting that bastard, man. That's the only weapon that we need, man. Because the, the average person that see that, they don't care about your street teachers. They just gonna associate that image. Oh yeah, I did see them on fights. They were shooting guns. You see? And that's all they gonna think about is the negative, man. Alright, that's what my brother saw the dudes doing that. Rebuke them guys, man. If you legally own a gun or whatever the case is, that's your business in your private time. That's not supposed to be displayed and make it a part of the doctrine. You got comments on talking about we got something for Esau. You a clown, man. Uh. And they always bring out a scripture out of is it Luke 22? Where Yahweh Shai said, they said, um. Yes, I don't know. Yeah, she said, strive for the truth unto death. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall fight for thee. There you go, man. He's going to fight for you. So we don't got to pick up no arms. All right, so that's a cut on that, man. What was it? Luke 22. They always bring the scripture out. Are we going to get... But Yahweh Shai, man. Because people are trying to kill the Mashiach. Luke 22 and 38, and it reads, And they said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. And he said, It's done. It is enough. It is enough, man. All right? But what happened? And let's, he came. Uh, let's read Matthew 26. Let's jump. They never bring out this scripture, man. It's supposed to link precept with precept. Matthew 26, verse 49. Matthew 26 and verse 49. And for when he, he came to Yahweh Shah and said, Hail Master, and kissed him. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then then came they and laid hands on Yahweh Shah and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Yahweh Shah stretched out his hand. Here, yeah, Christ. And drew a sword and struck a servant of the high priest. With that same sword, Yahweh Shai said, it is enough. And what happened? And smote his ear off. Smote off his ear. Uh -huh. Then said Yahweh Shai to him, put up again thy sword into his, his, into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. There you go. You get that scripture, man? Uh -huh. Do y'all understand that scripture, man? 
You live by the sword, you die by it. All right? You're up there shooting guns like an idiot, man. What did Yahweh Shai say after that? Did he say anything? Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? So, Peter, put that toy away, man. Put that away, man. Okay? I can call angels down to end this whole thing, man. We don't need that. How, did he say anything else after that? But how then shall the scripture be fulfilled that thus it must be? How else shall the scripture be fulfilled, man? Wow. <laughs> so you see, they read that Luke 22, but you don't read further in the story. That same sword that they kept and they used, your house tries to put that foolishness away, man. I can call angels down to end this thing. But how else would the scripture be fulfilled? How else would we receive the comfort if he didn't die? Okay? He's asking ask for 12 legions of angels, man. Come on, man. And one angel is more than enough. Uh -huh. Cause see? It was a count that uh, um, oh. in a video you said one angel slew like what? 120,000 men or something like that? Yeah, the Syrian army, Hezekiah. Yeah. Uh, um, one angel? I think First Kings 19 or something. One angel did that. Man. Twelve legions? Yeah, so oh, wow. I guess what your house try come back, he coming back with everybody. Everybody coming back. Michael, Gabriel, you know, the scripture says the whole host of heavens coming back. Oh, so this man. is a grand finale, man. That's okay. that excited when you said that. I, yeah. I'm excited hearing that. Yeah, you bring in the whole host to heaven, man. To deliver the twelve tribes, man. Because that's how precious we are, the one third. One forty four on down, Lord willing be a part of it, man. Done. See? Yeah, so, you know, you dudes, you know this gun shit. Brother King David said, was it Psalms 44? Now, Esau, when he slandered, is he, is he gonna play this segment right here? That we said we don't need guns and all we need is a scripture? Of course not, man. He's not gonna play this, uh, this segment. And you know good and well, man, we don't do that. Okay? Psalms 44, in verse 6, I think. 6. For I will not trust in my bow. And King David was a warrior. King David was people to fight by himself. Uh, but he said what? For I will not trust in my bow. Neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies. And hast put them to shame that hated us. He saved us from all sides. Uh, okay. He said I will not trust in my bow. Man. Neither shall my sword save me. And it also tells you that. I think it's one more Hosea in the first chapter. So we went through this whole foolishness today. The crisis act and the false flag, the false accusation. We did it to your house side and doing it to us. I know we don't deal with no guns, man. But like you said, the devil not gonna show this footage on the news and say that, you know, them guys don't teach that. Of course not. You're gonna run with a false narrative. That's what scripture says, is it Hosea chapter one, verse seven? Hosea 1 and 7, but I will have mercy upon the house of Judah and will save them by Yahweh Bashim Yahushua their power and will not save them by gold, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. So the Lord ain't saving us that way, man. Okay? This is a spiritual army. Done. Read verse um, 10. Verse 10, Hosea uh, 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass and in the place where it was said to them you are not you are not my people and what place was that america babylon right but they taught you with niggas they went back that's what these devils taught you they went up they were swinging on the trees in africa Right 